good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to be in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. We are in the Old Testament in the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah is one of the major prophets in the Old Testament. We are in chapter 4. If thou wilt return, O Israel, saith the Lord, return unto me, and if thou wilt put away thine abominations out of my sight, then shall thou not remove, or be shaken and moved. And thou shalt swear, the Lord liveth in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness, and the nations shall bless themselves in him, and in him shall they glory. For thus saith the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fallow ground, or your untilled ground, and sow not thorns. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord. Take away the foreskins of your heart. Be men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Lest my fury come forth like fire, and burn that none can quench it, because of the evil of your doings. He's, he's warning them. He's telling them, I see what you're doing. I see the evilness that you are just involved in. That you're hardening your hearts against me. He wants them to circumcise their heart to, be, to return to him and love him. But instead, they're moving further and further away from him. And he's telling them, this is a bad idea. And you're hurting me. You're hurting me. I love you so much. You're doing this and it's and it's hurting me. And it's evil. So he says, Lest my fury come forth like fire and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Declare ye in Judah and publish in Jerusalem and say, Blow ye the trumpet in the land. Cry, gather together and say, Assemble yourselves and let us go into the defensed cities. Set up the standard toward Zion. Retire, stay not, for I will bring evil from the north and a great destruction. The lion is come up from his thicket, and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He has gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate, and thy city shall be laid waste without an inhabitant the Lord's telling them I've called them they're on their way they're coming for this gird you with sackcloth lament and howl for the fierce anger of the Lord is not turned back from us and it shall come to pass at that day saith the Lord that the heart of the king shall perish and the heart of the princes and the princes shall be astonished priest Excuse me, and the priest shall be astonished, and the prophets shall wonder. Then said I, this is Jeremiah, Ah, oh, Lord God, surely thou hast greatly deceived this people and, and Jerusalem, saying, Ye shall have peace, whereas the sword reaches unto the soul. At that time shall it be said to this people and to Jerusalem, a dry wind of the high places in the wilderness toward the daughter of my people, not to fan nor to cleanse. Even a full wind from those places shall come unto me. Now also will I give sentence unto them. Behold, he shall come up as, a cl as clouds, and his chariot shall be as a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe unto us, for we are spoiled. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? For a voice declareth from Dan, and publisheth affliction from Mount Ephraim. Make ye mention to the nations, Behold, publish against Jerusalem, that watchers come from a far country, and give out their voice against the cities of Judah. As keepers of a field are they against her round about, because she hath been rebellious against me, saith the Lord. 
The Lord is bringing punishment upon them for their wickedness. Thy way and thy doings have procured these things unto thee. This is thy wickedness, because it is bitter, because it reacheth unto mine heart. My bowels, my bowels. He's saying, my inner parts, my soul, you're, you're hurting me. I am pained at my very heart. My heart maketh a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace, because thou hast heard, O oh my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. Destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are my tents spoiled and my curtains in a moment. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are Scottish, Scottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. I beheld, and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of the heaven, heavens were fled. I beheld, and lo, the fruitful places was a wilderness. And all the cities thereof were broken down at the presence of the Lord, by, and by his fierce anger. For thus saith the Lord, The whole land shall be desolate, yet will I not make a full end. For this shall the earth mourn, and the heavens above be black, because I have spoken it, I have proposed it, and will not repent, neither will I turn back from it. The whole city shall flee for the noise of the horsemen and bowmen. They shall go into thickest into and excuse me, they shall go into thickets and climb up upon the rocks. Every city shall be forsaken, and not a man dwell therein. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Thou though thou clothest thyself with crimson, Though thy decketh thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting, in vain shalt thou make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee, they will seek thy life. For I have heard a voice as of a woman in travail, and the anguish as of her that bringeth forth her first child, the voice of the daughter of Zion that bewaileth herself, that spreadeth her hands, saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is wearied because of murderers. God's soul is wearied. The wickedness of his people is just tearing him up. He's like, I can't have this. I can't allow this. No way. He's reminding them that the earth I made everything. Look, look, do you forgot? Did you forget? You know, that the earth, I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. Until he said, let there be light, and there was light. He made everything. He's trying to remind them how powerful he is, and that everything that they have is because of him. But they just have dirt in their ears and they cannot hear and their hearts are hardened see that you don't do that yourself don't harden your heart to the Lord or the ways that are good and turn away because you're drawn into things in this world and the things of this earth and you delight in things of the flesh more than of the spirit because the Lord he will not be made fun of and he has feelings, and when you hurt his feelings, he's going to let you know you've done that. And then he's going to say, look, you need to stop that. Don't you recognize how powerful I am? And yet you play like a fool in front of me? And you do these things that hurt me? That cause my, my soul to just ache and cry aloud inside of me? 
he's practically begging them to stop what they're doing their evilness woe is me now for my soul is weary because of murderers chapter 5 run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof if ye can find a man if there be any that executeth judgment or justice that seeketh the truth and I will pardon it is there anybody there that's just that's practicing justice if you can find them I'll pardon I will pardon and though they say the Lord liveth surely they swear falsely O Lord are not thine eyes upon the truth thou hast stricken them but they have not grieved thou hast consumed them but they have refused to receive correction they have made their faces harder than a rock they have refused to return therefore I said surely these are poor they are foolish for they know not the way of the Lord nor the judgment of their God I will get me unto the great men I will speak unto them for they have known the way of the Lord and the judgment of their God but these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bonds wherefore a lion out of the forest shall slay them and a wolf of the evening shall spoil them a leopard shall watch over their cities every one that goeth out thence shall be torn in pieces because their transgressions are many and their backslidings are increased how shall I pardon thee for this thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods when I had fed them to the full then they committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the harlots houses they were as fed horses in the morning everyone neighed after his neighbor's wife shall I not visit for these things saith the Lord and shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this go ye up upon her walls and destroy but make not a full end take away her battlements for they are not the Lord's for the house of Israel and the house of Judah have dealt very treacherously against me saith the Lord they have belied the Lord and said it is not he neither shall evil come upon us neither shall we see sword or famine and the prophets shall become wind and the word is not in them thus shall it be done unto them wherefore thus saith the Lord God of hosts because ye, ye speak this word behold I will make my words in, in thy mouth fire and this people wood and it shall devour them lo I will bring a nation upon you from far O house of Israel saith the Lord it is a mighty nation it is an ancient nation a nation whose language thou knowest not neither understandeth what they say their quiver is as an open scepter they are all mighty men and they shall eat up thine harvest and thy bread and which thy sons and thy daughters should eat they shall eat up thy flocks and thy herds and they shall eat up thy vines and thy fig trees they shall impoverish thy fenced excuse me they shall impoverish thy fenced cities wherein thou trusteth with the sword Nevertheless, in those days, saith the Lord, I will not make a full end with you. And it shall come to pass, when ye shall say, Wherefore doth the Lord our God all these things unto us? Then shalt thou answer them, Likewise, as ye have forsaken me, and served strange gods in your land, so shall ye serve strangers in a land that is not yours. Declare this in the house of Jacob, and publish it in Judah, saying, Hear now this, O foolish people, 
and without understanding which have eyes and see not which have ears and hear not fear ye not me fear ye not me saith the Lord will ye not tremble at my presence which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot not pass can us not pass it and though the waves thereof toss themselves yet can they not prevail though they roar yet can they not pass over it but this people hath a revolting and a rebellious heart they are revolted and gone neither say they in their heart let us now fear the Lord our God that giveth rain both the former and the latter in his season he reserveth us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholden good things from you. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that setteth snares. They set a trap. They catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore they become great and waxen rich. They are waxen fat, they shine. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. Yet they prosper. And the right of the needy do, do they not judge. Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and priests bear rule by their means, and my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? Chapter 6 O ye children of Benjamin, gather yourselves to flee out of the midst of Jerusalem. And blow the trumpet of Tikawa, and set up a sign of fire in Beth Hak Sirem, for evil appeareth out of the north in great destruction. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. The shepherds with their flock shall come unto her. They shall pitch their tents against her round about. They shall feed every one in his place. Prepare ye war against her. Arise, and let us go up at noon. Woe unto us, for the day goeth away, for the shadows of the evening are stretched out. Arise, and let us go by night, and let us destroy her palaces. For thus hath the Lord of hosts said, Hew ye down trees, and cast them out against Jerusalem. This is the city to be visited. She is holy oppression in the midst of her. As a fountain casteth out her waters, so she casteth out her wickedness. Violence and spoil is heard in her. Before me continually is grief and wounds. Be thou instructed, O Jerusalem, lest my soul depart from thee, lest I make thee desolate, a land not inhabited. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, They shall thoroughly glean the remnant of Israel as a vine. Turn back thine hand as a grape, grape gathereth into the baskets. To whom shall I speak and give warning, that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. Therefore I am full of fury of the Lord. I am weary with holding it. I will pour it out upon the children abroad, and upon the assembly of young men together. For even the husband with the wife shall be taken, the aged with, his di the aged with him that is full of days. And their houses shall be turned unto others, with their fields and wives together. For I will stretch out my hand upon the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord. For from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, 
everyone is given to covetousness and from the prophet even unto the priest everyone dealeth falsely they have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly saying peace peace when there is no peace where they ashamed when they had committed abomination nay they were not at all ashamed neither could they blush therefore they shall fall among them that fall at the time that I visit them they shall be cast down saith the Lord thus saith the Lord stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths that where is the good way and walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls but they said we will not walk therein also I set a watchman over you saying hearken to the sound of the trumpet but they said we will not hearken therefore hear ye nations and know O congregation what is among them hear O earth behold I will bring evil upon this people even the fruit of their thoughts because they have not hearkened unto my words nor to my law but rejected it to what purpose cometh there to me incense from Sheba and the sweet cane from a far country your burnt offerings are not acceptable nor your sacrifice is sweet unto me therefore thus saith the Lord behold I will lay stumbling blocks before this people and the fathers and the sons together shall fall upon them the neighbor and his friend shall perish thus saith the Lord Behold, a people cometh from the north country, and a great nation shall be raised up from the sides of the earth. They shall lay hold on bow and spear. They are cruel, and have no mercy. Their voice roareth like the sea, and they ride upon horses, set in array as men for war against thee, O daughter of Zion. We have heard the fame thereof. Our hands wax feeble. Anguish hath taken hold of us, and pain as a woman in travail. Go not forth into the field, nor walk by the way, for the sword of the enemy and the fear is on every side. O daughter of my people, gird thee with sackcloth, and wallow thyself in ashes. Make thee mourning as for an only son, most bitter lamentation, for the spoiler shall suddenly come upon us. I have set thee for a tower and a fortress among my people, that thou mayest know and try their way. They are all grievous revolters, walking with slanderers. They are brass and iron. They are all corruptors. The bellows are burned. The lead is consumed of the fire. The founder melteth in vain. For the wicked are not plucked away. Reprobate silver shall men call them because the Lord hath rejected them I tell you if you think about what's happening in the world now and how we as God's people are acting and responding do you see anything that they've done here that maybe our life or your life or my life that we're doing that we need to turn from and turn back to the Father, how we don't want to hurt Him. I mean, He's done so much for us. Look at the blessings He's bestowed upon us. The gift of His Son on the cross, the blood shed for the forgiveness of our sins. He died so we could live. So many things our Father has done for us, and yet and still we persist in doing evil. Is it impossible for us to be pleasing before God? Can we? Can we turn back to our God? Can we turn back to Him and seek His for forgiveness and seek His face? Yea, we can do that. Can we seek forgiveness for our nation? No. I asked. I asked Him. 
if we turned back, if we repented, if we turned back to him, if we saw his face, would he forgive us our nation and, re and, and, and turn back to us and heal our land? And he said, an audible voice from the right side of me came. It said, you are out of time. America is out of time. She's been warned a number of times. This book, this Holy Bible, is full of examples of what happens to the nations that God reigns over the people when they turn away from him and worship false idols and false gods and set up upon, in front of themselves things to worship other than God. That's why I'm always telling you, don't put anything between you and God. Don't do it. Because that's the false idols. the Making things with your hands and then worshiping them, thinking they're so great and wonderful. And spending your time before them rather than, than before the Lord your God. When he is angry, it's very little that you can do at that point to turn that away to turn it back it's like an arrow once the the archer lets it go he can't call it back it won't be called back it will go and it will hit its mark and he will take down whatever it has hit and that is, is going to be the way of God's um, anger he's not going to be turned back once he starts in on the wicked he's not going to turn back i pray that you are taking your salvation seriously i pray that you're you know, you're you're respecting him and holding him in awe and knowing and understanding that he holds your life in his hand so don't go off thinking oh i can do whatever i want to do i'm saved because he said, if you love me, pick up your cross and follow me. Keep my commandments. Love one another as you love yourself. These are things that he said to do. He didn't just say, say these words and you will forever be saved. Nowhere does it say you will be saved forever forever saved you can fall away from God but nothing can snatch you out of his hand but you can jump out and back into the things in this world to your detriment it will take you away into the gates of hell you'll be swept and there'll be no returning please be careful what you're doing. Teach your children well. Do right. And don't do evil, but repay evil with good. Pray for those that hurt you and despitefully use you. The Bible tells us to do these things. There are lots of other things the Bible's telling us that's going to guide us in these days that we're in. Have you read it? Do you feel like you're prepared that you can just go through whatever's coming and you're not going to have a problem that you're going to just be okay? Don't kid yourself. Examine yourself. Make sure you understand what's coming and who is going to be punished. And as always, I love you.